vlog starting at 3.46 p.m. on this fine, fine day. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Hope the running is going well. Just got done with my run. How far did I go? How far did I go? 10K, 6.4 miles, 10K, and not bad, not bad for day two. Hope you guys' runs are going well. Remember, check everyone's uh, links to their channels below this video, everyone participating in the athletic competition. All right, now I gotta do push-ups, air squats, and I'm at home for the rest of the afternoon because the boys are coming here, I'm in charge. Yeah, a little bright. Sorry about that. All right. I just got home, went inside, got a little water because uh, it was thirsty. I was thirsty after the run, and I just refreshed my YouTube subscription page, and I saw Fabio uploaded his video. I saw um, Andrew uploaded his, and anyway, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, Kofuzi, I believe, uploaded his. So anyway, the athletic competition is happening. Oh, three sets of 20 for push-ups and air squats. I did 50 yesterday for each, for both, 60 today. Oh, I'm definitely sore, definitely sore. No, not sure about you guys. Whew. Time to rest. Whew. Thanks for inspiring me though. Man, I would not be doing this on my own. see you out there. I see you out there, YouTube. All right. I'm still recovering. Ooh, my legs are throbbing a little bit. Quick topic, quick topic that I want to talk about is uh, posing. Posers. 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 Basically, I'm a Yankee fan. As you know, I'm a Yankee fan. I love the New York Yankees. Now, there are a lot of bandwagon Yankee fans out there. Why? Because they have won 27 world championships. It's logical. It makes logical sense that there would be a lot of bandwagon fans. Not allowed. Not allowed in my books. And I will admit that I am, I was kind of a Denver Broncos bandwagon fan because I actually did not follow them. So they won the Super Bowl and in 1998, and then they did not win it again until 2016. So that's a good span. And from about 90, let's well, let's say like 2004 to 2000. 10-ish. I just wasn't a huge... I didn't watch really hardly any Broncos games. I just didn't do it. I was... I just was like... Well, first of all, they, they why? Because they were losing a fair amount. And so I kind of tailed off. And that's not acceptable, in my mind, in the sporting world. If you're a fan, you're a fan whether they win or whether they lose. That's just how I live life. You're either all in or you're all out. All right? So with the New York Yankees... I wish I was. I wish I would have been alive in like the 70s and 80s because they were actually not very good. Uh, but then in the late 90s they started winning again. So I'm a Yankee fan. Let me prove it to you. And oh yeah, something arrived in the mail. Thank you, Amazon. All right, remember in this vlog up there, click there to watch when I explained what's in this package. Yeah, yeah. And I want to also show you one more thing. Let's come in. All right, so as I explained in that video, I love the history of the New York Yankees because it connects to American history. And these books are the beginning of my Yankee book collection. Mickey Mantle, uh, Lou Gehrig, The Luckiest Man, Joe DiMaggio. And now I'm adding to that collection. All I'm saying is let's strive as a community a family, can I put it in those words, here on YouTube to be authentic with each other and not to pose. You can stop posing now. <laughs> and to be real and to, I don't know, hey, call me out. If you see something in the vlog that you're like, wait a minute, I thought you said this at one point and now you're saying this, yada, 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 call me out, call me out. And I'll call you out too if I'm watching your videos. And on that 
topic, you know, don't don't hesitate to give yourself a shout out as long as you're not spam uh, down below in the comments. I would I would love that. So let's not pose. Let's be real. That's what social social media has a horrible rap. The, people th <sighs> drives me crazy. Basically. I, I, I can see why some people would think that social media is kind of fake and you're posing and you're not being authentic and real with your audience, especially on Instagram. Like Instagram, I just don't like Insta. I don't like how people make their pictures absolutely 100 billion percent perfect on Instagram. But I feel like on YouTube and even Snapchat, I feel like people are more raw and real. That's why I loved Beam. Beam, you guys know Beam if you are in the social media landscape at all. But uh, so I would make the argument that no, social media actually can make you more real, whether it's Snapchat, even nah, nah, Facebook's kind of insane now. It's more of a news feed at this point. But um, Snapchat, YouTube, um, that's about it, I guess. <laughs> so be real, be authentic, don't pose. I'm a Yankee fan through and through. I, if I could wear pinstripes to bed, I would. I just don't tell true love. I hear the boys. Papa's in charge of dinner. Chicken nuggets, baby. Chicken nuggets. But they're health, healthy chicken nuggets. They're not, you know, McDonald's chicken nuggets. They're good chicken nuggets. Each other. Ah. Ah.